Hi guys, we finally meet again. I haven't uploaded for quite a while because during the lockdown there wasn't much driving needed. So it actually took a while to reach 120,000 for my next service interval. So there's nothing much to be done today. Just the normal services. So I'm going to King Hap Klang to buy some parts. Probably, of course, engine oil, six liters, oil filter, and air filter. I'm gonna buy the air filter, but I'm not sure whether we need to replace it just as yet. So if we don't have to replace it, we'll keep it for the next service interval. And on top of that, there's two things I need to fix in this car. Firstly, this headrest. If you could see here, if you can see this came out, I don't know how to put it back properly. So I'm gonna get the mechanic to fix it. Other than that, the glove compartment, if I open it, it will just open straight away and it will fall. So I'm gonna get that fixed as well. I'm actually at King Hub Klang now. So let's do some mini shopping. So these are the stuff that I bought just now. Six liters of engine oil, 5W40, one oil filter, original, and an air filter but this will be a backup so if the mechanic says that my air filter is still working fine we'll change it during the next interval so let's go firstly drain the oil engine then, replace the oil filter. Pour the new oil engine. Next, checking the condition of my air filter. Lucky for me, I don't have to replace it yet. Okay, yeah. Alright, so to pasang next one. Hmm. Ke next one, kalau okay, kita tengok angin lagi. Tengok dulu. Jauh daripada sensor lah Alright Selalu jadi ke tu? Pernah kena dulu Dulu masa saya kerja di Millennium dulu Pernah ada budak Pergi tembak situ Start-start je goyang Kena check light Emas rosak lah Lepas tu kena buat apa? Kena tukar Tukar apa? <laughs> kena tukar emas lah Tukar? Emas Mana? Sensor ni Oh Di dalam tu dia macam ada Satu Dawai lah. Bukan oh. dawai macam benang kan. Uh -huh. Dia putus tu. Putus lah. Tapi yang terbaru sekarang ni. Yang baru sekarang ni. Dia orang dah tak buat macam ada benang tu. Dia macam. Macam chip lah. Ha, jadi kalau tembak angin pun. Tak ada masalah lah. Oh tapi kalau. Uh, model ni. Benang lah. Ha ada benang. Model ni CGI. Ha, CGI dah lain lah. Next. Checking my headrest Benda ni pasti dia nipis Sebab dia macam airbag lah benda ni hmm. Kalau accident Benda ni dia akan terbuka Untuk apa? Oh, oh protect nak Protect kita punya protect. apa lah Bentuk Oh upon impact dia akan Ah, Kalau orang langgak belakang kan hmm. Nanti benda ni akan dia melantun oh. Dia akan keluar Oh macam airbag ke? Eh? Ya, dia tak mau bagi kepala kita ni terhentak benda tu Tapi apa mekanisme tu bagi dia letup kalau accident? Dia yang terbuka sendiri lah ha? uh, Sensor dekat belakang, dia dekat body tu ada satu sensor Untuk orang kata apa, impact untuk accident hmm. Bila langgak, sensor tu dia akan vibrate hmm. uh, Dia yang mana ada airbag Dia akan tenang dia, dia Oh akan ok ok Kalau langgak depan Ah, sensor depan pula dia akan pecah airbag oh. Kau tak dia apa? Kita kena beli kepala seat baru ke apa? Kepala seat baru? Ya? Yeah. Oh, memang komplit <laughs> Mahal bang, pernah tanya apa? 
Apa? Rivu. Lah. Rivu. Hmm. hmm. Sebab dia sensor ni, hmm. sensor. This is just a temporary fix because the actual fix is to replace the headrest but since it cost me thousands I'm not going to do it yet but the worst part is if there's an impact from behind it won't deploy All right nice Last but not least fixing the glove compartment kanan sebelah kiri uh -huh. cuba tengok uh -huh. dah patah dia punya rubber ok uh, jadi benda ni kita kena beli lain lah sebab kalau ni benda ni nak unified pun benda apa kita nak pakai kan uh -huh. benda aman ok Tapi saya cuba dulu sekejap eh. dia akan tahan dia akan lock ah sini ok ni akan lock sekarang badan dia patah ok dia patah pop dia loose uh -huh. ini pun dia patah sekali ada oh. punya ok 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 Oh nice. Tapi kan benda ni dia sebenarnya yang buat atap orang bubuh barang kat bawah ni. Oh. Sini sebenarnya kena biar kosong kan. Okey. Dia sebab dalam tu dia plastik. Oh. Tak boleh nak nak tempuh. Tapi macam saya tu setakat taruh macam mask tu tak apa kan? Memang yang ringan tak apa lah kan. Ha. Lagi satu dia kalau buka jangan dia terbuka bagi dia turun sendiri. Jangan kita paksa Oh ok Kita pergi uh, turun Kok paksa turun uh -huh. Jadi dia Dekat belakang tu dia akan slip Ok Dia, dia, dia tu dia akan slip uh. Dia akan cabut Jadi dia akan cabut Alright alright So Baiklah. <laughs> Kalau ada rosak apa-apa kontak glove compartment ni. Ya, ya, call. Boleh, yang mana boleh boleh ah, yang mana tak boleh tu Call, tak call. Tak call. <laughs> nombor ada kat description ya. Now we're off to test the car and lucky for me everything else is in perfect order. So, the total damage today is 492 ringgit. 192 ringgit for the engine oil 45 ringgit for the original oil filter 55 ringgit for the air filter but I haven't replaced it yet so we'll use this for the next service interval and 200 ringgit for the labor but if you are to call him I seriously recommend you to just give extra because Firstly, he charges very modest and secondly, as we all know, during this pandemic, mechanics are actually affected, so, but it's up to you guys. So, all in all, from the first episode, I have spent total of 11,500 ringgit for all the uh, fixes and replacements and that doesn't include the aesthetics and rims and all that so that we put aside so i guess that's it but for the next episode it'll be a bit major for me on top of the normal services that we did just now i'm going to replace the transmission oil spark plugs probably do a throttle clean up rear brake pads and rear disc and maybe a few few more stuffs but let's hope that the damage remains minimal so don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode